Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, where Bitcoin still is a revolution and I am still bullish, or am I not not bullish anymore? I'm going to show you in this video what I think, but do you like my new bullish head? Guys, let's quickly jump into the video to show you the Bitcoin thing. first one do you remember this time this is the time like uh, we were in july and we were 36k and bitcoin was moving like this strange way in this channel up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down do you remember do you remember that feeling do you remember how shitty you felt that we are going all the way below 30k to 28k that feeling Please, try, try to remember that. Because what happened after that is this. I'm going to shift slowly, look. We broke out of the channel, and we went up, 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 all the way to 42K, and even more up, 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 to here, 50K, and then we went even more up, 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 up all the way, to 52k and that is how the bitcoin price moved up now why am i showing this pattern because i'm just showing you what we are seeing at the charts at the moment look if we close in close zoom out sorry you see the same kind of pattern i'm just trying to show you why sometimes emotion should not play a role because this is again the same kind of pattern so it's the same kind of pattern up and down up and down up and down up and down <laughs> you see this pattern is a pattern that can also break out again and go hugely up you know this is all possible in bitcoin i'm not saying that it is now going to happen but i'm just saying check always what you see before how you felt at that moment and if you if you compare the situations we had a huge wick over here you see the wick then we had that uptrend that pattern retesting that wickish area huge wick uptrend pattern retesting this wickish area around 42 43k and then still we could make that huge move up after such a pattern for example this pattern the move was up up there 130 percent just saying it took 114 days so that's like uh, almost four months but still i think it's possible okay now um what is the bam bam indicator telling you in the short term let's see what that one is telling you just to give you an indication over there look um the bam bam if you would spot trading buying and selling without leverage um yeah it was perfect this time in, in pattern buy sell buy sell buy sell buy sell leverage you do the triple confirmation so you only long when it's green over there and when the bam bam gear indicator is above the uh, midline so you need to um, deep a little bit digger, uh, dig a little bit deeper into the charts if you want to use it for leverage trading. Now, if you want to trade on the exchanges, guys, then use the Bybit link at the moment. You get four thousand one hundred dollars, up to four thousand one hundred dollars. Plus, they have now this bid thing that if you stake your bid, you can uh, participate in IDOs. But just by signing up using this link bitly slash Bybit you can get up to four thousand one hundred dollars deposit bonus. Now, let's jump into the next chart. Bam, over here. This one. This is the daily chart. On the daily chart, we can still see the same playing out. The price is falling down. The RSI is climbing up. Same like before. The price was falling down. The RSI was climbing up. You see what happened after. The thing at the moment is that even now, we are breaking this red line. Oh, sorry. This red thick line over there that's a 200 day moving average so look to the situation the last time we broke the 200 day moving average the price was falling down as i was climbing up bam we pushed way above the line again 
So even if we fall down below the 200 day moving average and the RSI still keeps climbing up, there is a, a possibility that we could shoot up back above that line and above these levels of 48 and 53k before you know it. Really cool. Um, on the Gaussian channel, we have been sharing this also last couple of days. I told you guys, um, yes, if we get sucked into the channel, we probably will be sucked to the midline. And the midline is around that 43k level. We are now at 45, I think. Uh, so that could be dropping to 43. Am I freaking out? No. Then I'm again waiting for that bounce out of the channel and then seeing what happens. If we don't bounce, we can drop completely to the bottom of the channel, which would be at 33,000 US dollar. I don't see that happening as I'm still a little bit bullish in this market. So, no, I don't see the bull run over at the moment. Okay, and if you zoom out a little bit to the weekly, you can see what I mean. On this weekly chart, beautiful colorful chart, you can see that um, the MA ribbon, um, we are finding support still in the ribbon. Look, the last drop from 60k to 30k, 28k, we found support with the body on the bottom line of that ribbon, this bottom line over there. We went out, we came back, retested it, went up, we retested it, we broke down. If we find support on the bottom line, that miraculously is on 43k. So again, that 43k that is in play. And is it then still possible to break up to the upside? Yes, because that have exactly what we have done. The last time we hit that bottom, um, we went up with 110%. If you would hit the bottom over here and we would all go up with 110% just to give, give you an indication, we would end up at 90,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. Just showing you what I see on the charts. Now, do I have any other really cool charts to show you? Yes, of course. Bam, this is the first one. Um, I found this one on Twitter. I hope you, uh, by the way, like the videos and I'm sharing with other people as well in the, in the video so that you can see the opinion of other traders. I found this one on the website, no, on Twitter, on Crypto Yuri. Yes, Crypto Yuri, that was his name. Um, what do I like about this chart? This is the Crypto Fear and Greed on daily candles. You can see the colors over here. Extreme Greed to Extreme Fear. Green, G, N, F, E, F. Yep. And it seems that every time when there is extreme fear, it is a perfect time to buy. Because if we get into extreme fear or fear, it's a good time to buy. Price went up. Extreme fear to fear is a good time to buy. The price went up. Fear and extreme fear should be the good time to buy. Because if we have this extreme fear over here, that would be follow up by a price run where again we see extreme greed and that would be the moment again to sell. So he's thinking this will be the pattern a little bit like this. Um, I don't think it's going to go that fast, but yes, I understand the chart. You buy the dip when there is extreme fear. Cool chart. Some more uh, very interesting information is this one, Glassnode. On Glassnode you can see that um, the Bitcoin the percentage of the balance on exchanges is an all-time low. Guys, we are going lower and lower and lower. We are below 13%. There's a new low for balance on exchanges. That means there's not a lot of Bitcoins on the exchanges. So I don't know who is selling, but most of the people are huddling because mostly when the balance is not on exchanges, it is on hardware wallet or external wallet where you huddle your Bitcoins. Really cool information. And then the most important information of the day, why would, should you, would you, should you, no, why should you not um, change back to dollars or to euros or any other currency? I'm going to show you that by sharing this chart. And here you can see um, that it's not only in Bitcoin that we see some drops now and then, guys. This is the Turkish Lira. The Turkish Lira against the dollar. That is what we call a dive. We lost the value from 12 cents to 0 0.05 cents. So if we had a million dollars in Turkish Lira over there, that would now be worth 500,000 US dollar. So this is what people need to understand. It is not crypto. 
that is going to make you poor because if you look at bitcoin it has only been going up in the last couple of years guys look at currencies how they are losing value plus undergoing inflation so just imagine living in turkey at the moment you lose the health of your capital plus the inflation is making the products more expensive so you can buy the health probably less of products that is exactly what is important in bitcoin we hatch into bitcoin to not be affected by this inflation yes it is beautiful bitcoin is going up and down you can make money by trading staking whatever you want but the core at the moment is protecting your capital because the inflation the crisis of the economy is coming closer and closer and closer and you can see this now in turkey venezuela and many other countries where the value of the currency is falling down that is why el salvador is choosing for bitcoin you know they they, they were only using dollars because i don't think they even had no currency anymore because of all this now I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. Are you still bullish? And do you like my bullish head? Or do you believe that Bitcoin is a revolution? Down below in the comments, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching, and see you tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, again.